Hello everyone and welcome to Stamping Within. Uh, the following video uh, describes how I made this. Uh, what we're going to do now is just a quick walkthrough of it uh, because I didn't finish it off for the video. I had to pop out and do a bit of shopping. You know what it's like. <laughs> so this is the finished birthday book. So it's nice and shiny. Uh, the letters I did on my uh, brother's scan and cut CM900. This is die cut. This is the paper. Each month, the calendar. I've only stuck the top, so the, the ease of removal for the following year. These are for 2021. There's a piece of whisper white cardstock, which measures uh, six by five, and that just slots in for writing your birthdays on. Just slots in like that, and there you go. There. May and June, July and August, September and October, and November and December. And then there's the back, and that's the complete birthday book. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay with me, because straight following this will be the tutorial. Okay, the lovely 3D project for you today. Uh, inspired by the lovely Gainer Boyce over at Stamp with Joy. She did this quite a while ago actually and I meant to make one <laughs> at the start of the year. Uh, we're now coming to the end of the year um, and uh, I haven't done it yet. There's been a dearth of birthday cards because I haven't sent any out which is really sorry about. A lot of it due to the illness and the sciatica. Yeah, I've not been feeling, you know, myself. But 2021 is coming. We have a new year and uh, a project for you. This is dead easy. This is. Uh, I watched Gainer's video, video, and then I basically made notes. I'll just hold that there, so you can just uh, pause it, pause, pause the video and make notes, okay. I'll read other dimensions anyway as we go along. Uh, you're going to need, oh, I need, I need the water piece of that, six, six pieces of 12 by 12, uh, basic black cardstock and you're going to score it on the long side at six inches and on the short side at two and a half inches okay you're then going to cut up the score line up to the two and a half inch mark okay cut either side of the score line because we we actually want to get rid of that Uh, because then it will fold. It will fold over easier. Okay. Someone asked me which way I fold my cardstock after I've scored it. The answer is I, I always fold towards the mountain. So there, you can see we have the valley, and over there is the mountain. So we fold over the mountain like so give it a good score like so trim off our extra bit of fold over 
over, making sure the sides are level, and give it another good burnish, like so. Right, the pieces of DSP I'm using. Make sure they're the right way around. <laughs> this this larger piece is five and three quarters by four and three eighths. And the smaller piece to go on the pocket is two and a quarter by five and three quarters. I do need another, I need the piece for that, so I'll do that in a minute. Uh, get your glue, your glue of choice. Mine is Tombow, multi purpose liquid glue, available from my store. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell, and you always know and you get a notification then of when I've, uh, I've got a project on. I have load on, uh, that's on the wonk. Oh, that's a bit better. On a Wednesday and Friday at 8 pm UK time. There are always premieres like uh, this video is, so I'll chat along with you in the live chat. I think it's so nice. Ooh, that's my surprise. <laughs> Thin layer of glue, line of glue even. Just on the edge there, and flatten it down. Okay. Paper this. This is the uh, what's it called? World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. Beautiful papers. Lots of shininess in it. As you can see. Here we go. <laughs> now I need another, another bit of this. And a trimmer. Where have I hidden my trimmer? I had it literally moments ago. I buried it. That's what I did with it. There you go. <laughs> Put my standard up trimmer. So I said two and a quarter. So two, two and a quarter. And by five and three quarters. Now this bit's done, we can attach it to the rest of the book, which I've already done here. So each page will be a month, okay. And what we're going to do, we're just going to burnish this again, make sure it's all sharp. Stop some of the old glue on it, like so. Don't be shy. You don't want it coming a bit, do we? And then stand it. 
it up. Make sure it's level. Like so. And turn it down. So, there we have the book. And of course, it needs a cover. We're not going to do a cover in a traditional sense. The actual book itself is will be the cover, but we are going to but we are going to make it pretty. <laughs> First of all, I've got some uh, early espresso ribbon here, but loads of it actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some sticky tape in the form of our uh, stamping seal here. Lovely stuff this. And about halfway, yeah, about there, I'm going to put a line of adhesive, he says. Okay. So everyone, uh, we had a bit of a cock up there. Uh, for some reason, it stopped recording. Uh, I got to the point where I was adding the adhesive uh, for the ribbon, and uh, then it suddenly stopped. Uh, all I did after that was, uh, these are the matting pieces for the front and back, uh, Misty Moonlight, which is uh, six and three quarters by five and three quarters. And the DSP is six and a half by five and a half. And I did one for the front and one for the back. And uh, then I just tied, I tied it up. Uh, on the inside, I should decorate, well, I'll decorate the outside with the, with the dies, with the world map dies from the beautiful world stamp set. I'll, I'll put uh, a globe and a holder probably on there. Inside there will be a uh, cardstock with lines on for, for me to write people's dates and names. Uh, I'm going to print off a free mini calendar so each uh, one's going to have the dates on and I, 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 shall, and I can actually circle the dates because that might remind me as well. <laughs> so there we go. A simple project, but very pretty. I hope you'll agree. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's tie a little bow again, just like tying my shoelaces. There you go, and I'll cut. Uh, That's a good guess for the ribbon, wasn't it? Great, just right. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Have a lovely time, and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Oops. <laughs>